Hi, my name is Roland and here in Thailand on my holiday property we are actually producing two-thirds of our energy which we use directly with our own solar system and we also store a lot of energy into DIY battery systems. So and today we are going to continue with my so-called AC power wall. So for everybody who is new on my channel, please check the playlist. I have tons of videos how I built my power walls, etc. and how we are doing this here in Thailand. Right now, after I came back from uh, Austria, I want to upgrade my power wall. First of all, let me tell you, my power wall is a second life storage project. All the battery cells which I'm using are used cells. And in my case, it's not the 18650s, uh, batteries from laptops or, or tools, something like this. I'm using second life lithium iron phosphate cells. So I already have 48 of those prismatic 100 amp hour cells there in my power ball. And from the experience, I know that they are degraded by 20%. So instead of 100 amp hours, they deliver about 80 amp hours now. With this upgrade, the first point will be actually a capacity upgrade. And for that, I have found the exactly same cells again here in Thailand. And yeah, you can see it here already. So it's this Sinopoly 100 amp hour prismatic cells. And for this one, I got an extremely good deal. And we are going to unpack this now, and then we will check each of these cells, uh, how they look like. Because one thing you can tell about lithium ion phosphate cells, you can see if they have been abused. How is that? So these cells, which come in fairly thin casings, also the blue aluminum cased ones, you can see, you can tell how degraded they are, how much they have been abused by seeing how much the cell is actually swollen or bloated. And this one, the first one which I pulled here now, is actually almost not bloated. So this is just a very small uh, swell here in the middle, in the center of the prismatic cell, but this looks very, very nice. Compared to my first cells, which I bought about one and a half years ago, they have been, that time, very hard to get, and also they have been really, really in a bad condition. So I had some uh, cells which have been swollen probably a few millimeters, maybe four or five millimeters in the worst case. But this one, uh, yeah, I would say one millimeter maximum. So let's hope that all the other ones turn out to be good as this. And yeah, let's just um, unpack. I have 32 new cells here, new use cells. And we have to go through them because I have to then decide if I have to send back maybe some of them to the seller. But let's see what we're gonna find out. I have actually sent a message to the seller before I bought them and told him that he should not send me any of these extremely swollen ones and he said his, his cells are good quality so there is nothing bad I will get. So let's hope that this is also true. But for the time, I'm actually, all what I saw till now, I'm actually very, very surprised how well they look. Um, I must tell you, I'm so totally surprised how these cells look like. They actually look almost like brand new. They have a small swell at the cathode. That is very, very common when you buy uh, the lithium-ion phosphate cells. 
you might have seen that on many YouTube channels with the blue cells and yeah they have I see the same thing here but with my older cells I had a swell almost in the center already of the cell and uh, this is nothing like that at all so they look really really good so I will actually leave a link to the shop uh, below the video for uh, my viewers here in Thailand because this seller is really really trustworthy about his product you have to know that these uh, cells here are sold all over Southeast Asia so as well Philippines Malaysia they're bringing this they're bringing these cells from China they would typically go there to the recycling center or wherever nobody knows really but they are saved uh, for a second life and I think in this case this will be a very good second life for them and so you can really take any of these cells and just look at them you see it's almost no swell at all on these cells so really really nice here with these uh, Sinopoly cells which have the rubber vent you can actually smell their outgassing electrolyte so I already had a chat with Sinopoly about that once because my other cells they have really uh, a lot of gassing but you know it's no problem uh, for the performance of these cells and in my case it doesn't matter this is a power wall which is on the outside really on the wall and it does not really matter if there's something gassing here or not if you want to use these sort of cells indoors I cannot uh, recommend this but yeah this extra 32 cells will make the total count to be 80 so this will be a 16 s 5p uh, configuration what will I do with these cells so I will actually put like 10 of those in uh, parallel and just let them equalize a little bit but that will already be it the cells are here sitting here now somewhere between 3.23 and 33 uh, volts so I want to bring the high ones down and the low ones up a little bit and there will be no top balancing or anything like that because I have to put them into my existing pack at the end I will just use them voltage wise and put them together in existing uh, 3p configurations I will add two cells of these ones into any of those cell groups and yeah they shall just equalize themselves out there and when they are charged up the next time the first time together it we will then see on the top if there is uh, one group uh, kind of out of balance and for that one we will then that, then just touch up with uh, my spare cell and bring down the voltage or something like that I also have uh, a DC power supply so if there is a need to add some extra energy into a cell group then by then then we can do that with a power supply but yeah that is how they look like really really pleasantly surprised if uh, this uh, upgrade continues like it started it will be perfect so next we are going to the power wall and we are going to talk about what it takes to make our new uh, pack here and what else actually we need to get there too and yeah I almost forgot it I also got bus bars copper bus bars and the bolts here M M6 bolts I will of course not use that in my build because uh, I have my big aluminium bus bars then and my own bolts so let's go 
uh, to the power wall and take a look there. But what you actually still want to know is what did this cost, right? So I have actually paid $24 for one cell. If you now consider degradation of 20% so that this cell maybe only have 80 amp hours left, that would mean that you need four cells to get one kilowatt hour of storage. So four cells, $24 is 96 US dollars per kilowatt hour. But this in the case that this is really degraded by 20%. As these cells look at the moment, this could be only degraded by 10% maybe, and this would actually make the deal even better. When I bought my cells last year for the first time, I have paid that time $35 for one cell, and they really degraded by 20%, so that one has cost me 140 US dollars per kilowatt hour. So we have already saved more than 45% again. How did I get that good deal? You know, on these uh, online platforms, similar to AliExpress, I'm using here Lazada. They always have every month, they have the equal payday or something like this. I don't know how, how they really call it. So I bought myself on the 12th of December. They had a quite good promotion and the shipping was free for most of the sales, etc. Always wait for chances like this. I think in this case could not have done a better really. Now these uh, bus bars which I got came actually in quite handy. I'm using this to equalize the battery cells. And I did not look too much. I, I took actually the low cells together with the high cells low cells have been at 3.22 which would actually equal to 10 percent state of charge and the other one 3.33 which have also been here that would equal actually to a full cell and but all this is still cold you know the lithium ion phosphate cells they need a quite a big voltage difference to get activated. I do not expect that there is a high current flowing on these bars even when the cells are so, so, so different. So I will leave this like this about 24 hours. Tomorrow I'm expecting that they will sit here at around 3.28 volts. Okay yeah, so here we are at the power wall and the shelf is now containing the 48 existing cells and we need to accommodate another 32 so what is going to happen is that we will build another shelf here of course and for this one i have an interesting detail which is i have another glass door similar to the electronics compartment left so this shelf will be having the glass door we will completely fill it up with three rows of 15 so there will be nine cell groups five cells in parallel in the new shelf and three rows of it and this behind the glass door so it will really look also nice so people can see this then exactly how this looks inside in this existing shelf there will be on the upper and lower row there will be also 15 cells and then there's five cells left for this middle shelf here and we will use the space which we want then to accommodate the third charger which we need and probably also some maybe breakers etc. This is what we have to do first. We are going to build another compartment, make a roof over it, put the door on it and then fill everything up with cells. Then we will just reorganize the cell groups and connect all the cells with new bus bars. Okay, so I would say this is enough for today's video. Uh, the topic about cells is very exten extensive, so let's say thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel because then you will not miss any further of the up upgrade videos. And yeah, like the video, 
development of course and thank you for watching i see you next time